Hi to guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond. Today is day 1228 of my ketogenic journey. I have uploaded a daily weight loss video for over three years now. Whoa, I don't think I missed a day. And if I did, there was really, really, really good reason for it. Anyway, if you're interested in following a true blue, honest, no lies, ketogenic journey, hit that subscribe button. It's time though. Well, you know, once you hit the like button to rant, rave, and misbehave Keto Dama style. <laughs> hour fast at noon with a triple baconator no bun add a slice of tomato might even throw some mayonnaise on it got a diet cherry dr pepper let's eat so i'm having one of those cauliflower crust real good uh sausage and cheese sandwiches which i took the well sausage egg and cheese i took their cheese off and put a slice of american i was asked what the difference was between the american slices and the regular slices i don't know we've just always called it american i had to get out the package to see and it does say american on the package I, I don't know. Maybe in Australia it's called white Australian cheese. I don't know. And so I've been craving some pizza. I can't have no pizza, obviously. So I keto a recipe that I've had a long time ago. Now it is beef, pepperonis, mozzarella cheese, and a little bit of marinara. Um, it might trigger some water weight, but you know what? At least I'm not eating pizza. And I know there are some doughs that can be keto and all that, but I don't generally have good luck with that. So. This is a Whole Foods thing, but whether it's going to work out for me or not, y'all cross your fingers. All right, you guys. So some things coming up the next couple of days. Um, got to go ahead and say tomorrow's video might be late. I'm going to record it, I believe, in Janelle and Antonin's presence with their children. If they're, I think they're bringing their children. And uh, also, I am not wearing... Okay, I am wearing the same shirt I wore yesterday, but there's a good, really good reason. It was cold this morning. I opened the dryer. This was toasty, so on it went. Okay? Okay. I got a package. I have no idea who it's from that I'm going to open real fast on camera. And then we will talk about my keto stuff. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Let's see what this says here. Best movie ever. Enjoy with the grandkitties. Merry Christmas, Allison, a.k.a. Mrs. Claus. What is this? What is this? <laughs> oh. So I said in my Christmas Q&A video that I have never seen Elf. So she sent it to me. So I guess me and the kitties will be watching Elf at some point this weekend. Maybe this evening if I can get them to sit down and be still. Um, it's always hard to say. But I bet Zach will enjoy this. He loves Home Alone, which he watches with his other grandma quite frequently. I don't think I've ever seen him watch it at my house. I've heard him talk about it, but I've never seen him watch it. Thank you, Allison. That's cute. Um, yeah, I've never seen that movie. I've seen like other people watch it kind of like in, in bits and pieces. So I've tiny, tiny snippets, but I've never actually seen the movie. All right. Um, there was something I was going to show you, I think. Maybe it was just that. I'm not sure. So I do want to uh, give another thank you to Miss Melanie Hunt. Yesterday, she sent me a coin that, of course, didn't make it in the mail. It, it slipped out of the envelope. Um, what happened with it? I don't know. Maybe it's sliced open by a machine or somebody was a little greedy. Um, but she tried really hard to send me a very special gift. And in her words, it was something that would uh, not only retain its value, but grow in value over time. So it was a, a silver coin. And while I would love to have it, and I wish it had made it here, I feel so bad that it didn't because I know that she put so much heart and soul into that and, and meaning into that. So that was really, really special. Um and, and because of that, that's another real reason I really hate that it didn't make it. I do have a coin collection of sorts. I used to work at a convenience store for seven years. And um, every time a silver dollar would come in, I would buy it. Or a special coin or real silver qu quarters. I would buy them out of the machine and my boss didn't care. So I put them in my dad's safe. So I don't know if I've got five of those, 40 of those. But I worked there for seven years and every time one came in, I got it. Now, I don't remember it happening frequent, frequent, but it did happen on occasion. So, 
it would have been in the safe after Christmas, of course. During Christmas, it would have been up on the shelf, probably. But I, it just, I hope if nobody stole it, that whoever finds it finds a lot of joy in it and maybe can share it with their grandbabies. Um, but I still hate that that happened. It really bothers me that that happened. Um, it's one of those things that kind of make you sick to your core. You know, you lose something and you're like, oh, gosh. So, you know, I just, I just wanted to give her another special thank you because it is most certainly the thought that count, but that was an amazing thought. So, uh, thank you again. Her, her, pardon me. Her channel is Princess Ninja and Keto. If you haven't seen her, please do, do go check her out. A lot of channels, not all of them, obviously, have been very stalled out this year. People are very focused on other things. So, not only does your subscription get deleted on occasion, or they go through your subscriptions and delete them, because I was subscribed to a lot of people for many years, and I went and looked the other day because I haven't seen videos by these people in a long time. And I was unsubscribed from channels that I used to love and watch pretty much every day or every week whenever they uploaded. So check, make sure you're still subscribed to this channel, um, just on the off chance. Let me know if that's happened to you with my channel, because I am curious about it. Because this year has been extremely slow growth, so I, I'm just nosy. <laughs> I still need to put up that video of the uh, quarantine tag. I find those interesting because you just never know how other people have lived their quarantine. Because what affected us here did not affect people in New York the exact same way. And, and you know, all throughout the world, the quarantine was different. So if I didn't tag you, feel free to tag in. Because it's interesting to hear what other people have to say about that. Or what their experience has been with it. Alright, shut up, Joni. Let's talk about keto. Okay? So I didn't do bad yesterday. I didn't think I did bad. I didn't feel like I did bad. I felt like I did much better than I did do because the urination just would not quit at all. I mean, in and out of the bathroom all day. Uh, it might have something to do with that. I had accidentally skipped a fluid pill and took a fluid pill yesterday. So that probably upped the ante on the whole urine flow there. <laughs> and I know that sounds terrible, but guys and dolls, that's kind of how you drop the weight. It's aspiration, um, sweat or perspiration, and urination. That's kind of how the fluid and the um, fat flushes off of you. <coughs> Pardon me. But that fellow was a whole lot like my brother. It was a whole lot like my brother's truck, but my brother lives an hour and a half from here, and there would be no reason for him to go to this post office. He looked a whole lot like my brother. I'll be right back. So that is not my brother, but that was enough to confuse me. So <laughs> I had to go check. I'm sorry. It just he has a truck like that. The guy looked like him, but he wouldn't have his keys out coming to this post office for any reason that I know of. So you know. Anyway, and he wouldn't be up here right now. This is a little closer to Christmas, I think. I'm hoping that my brother does come down. That would be nice. Um, and I know a lot of people are like freaked out about the whole Covey thing, but you still got to live. You got to live. And, and while it might be safer, you're not promised tomorrow regardless of what's going around. So I, I wouldn't miss time with friends and family for nothing in the world if I could because oh, I could be hit by a bus tomorrow. No offense, and then please don't let that happen. I would knock on some wood if I had any daggone wood. Wait, we got a paper bag that was originally made out of wood. All right, so okay. Um, yeah, we were talking about keto. How'd I get on that subject? Anyway, y'all, y'all know I just I did really good yesterday. Two meals, um, I think. I don't think I had anything else uh, other than what you saw. Now, what was it? And I had the triple baconator with tomato, no bun. What I ate for dinner last night. Oh, that that fig pizza that did not hit the spot. Now, um, the reason I wanted it so bad lately is my husband's be, been eating these uh, Supreme DiGiorno pizzas, and I've been stealing a little bit of the toppings off of here lately. Didn't yesterday he didn't eat one, but it's so good it's making me want it. And I was like, well, let me mock something up. I think if I had had the little Italian sausages they have on the pizza, some uh, peppers and onions with the marinara, with the cheese, that that would have been much, much better. But so what I eat did not hit the spot, did not satiate the craving. 
I'm going to have to try again. Damn, he looks like my brother. Sorry. I just can't get over that. Um, <laughs> he even walks like him. But I do have a lot of family in this area, too, that could favor him a lot. So, anyway. That ever happened to you? You've been scrolling through Facebook like, ah, oh, there's Uncle Kenny, and then you go back, wait, who the hell is this dude? Same last name, but that's not Uncle Kenny. You know what I mean. Um, <laughs> we got family that fl that floats up out of the woodwork. Uh, my last name is Sutphin, and for those of you who don't know, of my grandfather's children, I'm like the hundredth grandchild, literally. Um, he has a lot of grandchildren, great grandchildren, great great grandchildren. He's been gone for a little while now, um, but he had a lot of children who had a lot of children who had a lot of children. You know what I mean? Um, so seeing family float around, I guess is nothing odd. But anyway. Jesus, maybe I should redo this video. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Weigh in. Let's get to the weigh in. I'm just going to pop it in right here. Morning, y'all. Coffee's brewing. Getting ready to hop in the shower. Let's see this. <laughs> 163.2. I'm good with that. So that's down potentially 1.2 pounds. Potentially. Because um, I don't remember exactly what the point was from yesterday. The It was 164 point, I think, 8. Down to 163 point, what, 6? I don't know. But anyway, it's down. But it should have been much, much. The, as much as I was going to the bathroom, I was expecting to drop 3 pounds and have a whoosh yesterday. I really, really was. I don't know how much sleep I got, but I think it was pretty decent. Um, sleep is a very big thing for me. Very, very big factor in my mental state, my moodiness, and... Um, <laughs> my weight loss. It just really is. Um, did I, what? You know what? I'm going to insert it where you're going to see it, but I don't think I recorded it. I think. Yes. Yes. I did have one of those cauliflower sandwiches yesterday. I just did not record it. I was like, I, I had Athena in one arm. I was trying to eat the sandwich with the other arm. I was like, I'll record it later. So that's what happened with that. But y you will have already seen it. I just haven't put it in there yet. Um, I'll record it when I get home. Sit at the post office. You know that. God. Ugh. Stop talking, Joni. I'm a little nervous. Tomorrow is coming up where Janelle and Antonin is coming up here. And uh, their family. And I, I know I shouldn't be nervous. But it's, it's, it's wild to me to think that somebody would come from Michigan to see me. And I'm just goofy little old me. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, I'm going to relish in it and enjoy it. I just, it, like Janelle said, she her kids tell her she's awkward. And my kids just tell me I'm stupid. <laughs> they don't mean it like that, like in a bad way. It's just, I talk a lot of smack. And there's no telling what's going to come out of my mouth. So, that I'm just, it's what I refer to as goofy. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's like. Y'all hear me talking, though. This is what it is. Um, all right. So, I think it's time to save the rest of the video for Karina. I didn't do bad yesterday. I went down, but not as far down as I thought I was going to go. That drives me absolutely bonkers. Because I'm like, yes, this is going to be great tomorrow. Step on the scale. Like, I hate you. But not that much because I did lose weight. You know? <laughs> I hate you a little bit today. A little less than yesterday. I love you, beautiful, wonderful people. And if you haven't yet, visit KetoDiamond.com where everything's written out, free foods list, everything. There's ways to support the channel. Oh, wait. I'm waiting for Corey. I'll be back with Corey. Here's Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing today. Uh, well, I'm cleaning a lot. Hey, you know what? She asked me earlier, do you care if I clean? And I was like, honey, a stranger could walk into my house and clean it and I wouldn't, bitch. I well, just sit there and watch it with, you know, my bang bang on my lap just to make sure because people are crazy, but feel free. Anytime. Okay, so I got to explain it first. So Brian hit me today with, with something that I never thought that I'd hear from him. And he was like, you've been promoted to housewife. Good, good job for uh, uh, the achievement being unlocked. I was like, what? <laughs> and he explained to me that he'd been thinking about it for a while because now he has this job. He brings like 500, 500 home a week. And for us and our bills that we pay, that covers like like the monthly $100 that we pay here. Um, the internet bill every once in a while. A uh, few su subscriptions that we have with like Netflix and Apple Music and stuff. We'll be fine. And uh, 
Because of insurance, that's good too. That's all, that went down from like one hundred and eighty-five dollars to just eighty dollars a month. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, ours um, is seventy-eight dollars. Yeah, and so we'll we'll be fine. We'll we'll still be able to go to the grocery store like normal. We'll we'll be all right. And so he he was like, I've been thinking about it for a while because he was like, one time you took like a week off from work because of your teeth. And he was like, you did great. <laughs> he was like, I loved coming home and like having food from work. And he was like, I like the, the, the room being clean all the time and my area being clean all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, just clothes being done and hung up and ready every day. Basically, he likes not having any, like doing anything. Yeah, that's exactly. He's like, I go to work. You clean the house. We done. And so <laughs> I've been cleaning like crazy today. I've got all of his stuff organized and went through rooms clean. No. Clothes are done. And I'm clean, cleaning out this closet because we have something very special for Zach planned for the next. For Christmas. For Christmas. Yeah. So I want to go ahead and like, before anybody freaks out, it's not a demand. It's a you can if you want to. Yeah, so yeah, she yeah. She can yeah. work if she wants to. Yeah, I can. not Yeah, it's... Mm -hmm. He just kind of liked her being a housewife. She can't like being a housewife. So yeah. uh, it was something I mean, funny he said. Yeah. It gives so, me time to do everything. Um, I know. There's always so much work to be done. No matter what you do. You you do know that with housewife duty, though, there, there's no breaks. Yeah. There's no vacation. I know. Even when I went on vacation, they called me, the door not broke. We can't get out. I'm like, I'm four hours away. What do you want me to do? <laughs> and they're like, uh, we don't have a doorknob now because we had to you know, break the doorknob off. Like, four hours away. What do you want me to do? Send us $20. <laughs> oh, yeah. Luckily, she had a spare one. Um, but I didn't know where it was. It took they, a lot of fun. Yeah, I was like, crap. I'm going to have to, uh, like, cash out these kids, like, 20 bucks. And I don't want to because I was blowing my money there. <laughs> but, yeah, things are good today. I've gotten a lot of, I got a lot of stuff done. I feel pretty good. Keep, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> I don't mind. Anybody can walk in my house and wash my dishes. If that's all they're doing, they are welcome to it. Um, but here's Corey. <laughs> I weighed in today at 294.6, which is 0.4 down from yesterday, which isn't a lot, but I also didn't get a lot of sleep, and I've been, mess I've been messing up a lot lately. I feel like all that together. I didn't mess up at all yesterday, but... Good job. Good job. I don't go yesterday. I'm going to finish cleaning whatever he Your son forced me to eat cashews. Yeah, force you to do that. Oh, yeah, he forced you. He did. He, he had to force you to do that. He got him out of my desk drawer and slapped me with him. <laughs> like, literally. What? Or, what? Tell what? me. Baby shoes that I bought a thing not too long ago. Those are size four, baby. I don't know. He's forcing me to eat them again. Get out of my crusher. Um. Yeah, I totally had to force her. Well, once you hit, him, hit me with him, I figured that was a sign. You're good, though. This is not a mukbang, I swear. Did you tell him you're weighing? She, what? We just uh, I that. totally missed completely everything. She was asking me about shoes. He's over there doing stuff. I don't know where the thing went. No, she's only thinking about cat shoes at the moment, apparently. It's about the size of my brain. This is what she would look like if she still used a passy. Aw, that passy had a baby's mouth. <laughs> she hasn't, she weaned herself off of passies at like two months old. And then I was left with like 50 of them. And this is the last one. I just found it. <laughs> She's so cute. I see babies all the time that are around Athena's age or like a year and a half, two years old with these things still popped in their mouth as they're like doing stuff, you know? Let's talk about fun mom stories. Her, her boyfriend, my son, was a passy fiend. I mean, like literally you could not go without a passy. He broke himself from it when he was about, I don't know, maybe two. But before that, he would scream his little head off if he didn't have his pacifier. Nothing never cared much for his. Yeah, most kids don't. You didn't. But little Brian was like, I need my passy right now. <laughs> but yeah, like, I, whenever, I, before I had Athena, I, I got into this mom group on Facebook, and they said the two hardest things for, well, three hardest things for a child were learning to sleep by themselves, breaking the passy, and then, like, weaning from breastfeeding. She did two of those within two months. Stopped breastfeeding. She wanted other stuff. Um, stopped using her little pacifiers. We're, we're working on the sleeping by herself thing. I'm not doing too good, though. Yeah. But, <laughs> it's fine. Because she's my little cuddle bug. Stop eating all my cashews. Those things are $4. I know, I know, but we're poor and get $4. Anyway, guys and dolls, I think I'm meeting Tony and his wife, Janelle, tonight. 
um, which is exciting. Uh, we thought it was going to be tomorrow, but they're they're going to be in town a little earlier. I'll be able to get off work in a little while. So that might That's be something that happens That's also why tonight. I'm cleaning today, just by any chance. I'm like, oh, God, they come by here. I don't want nobody to ever see my house. It is not show worthy ever. Even but if it's, it's clean, it's not, not show worthy. It's also not the worst whenever it's clean. Still not the best. This place is. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so I guess I'm going to get off here. You've heard our weigh ins. I actually lost more because I, I went and looked at my video from yesterday and today. I think I said 164.4 yesterday, 163.2 today. So I actually went down, what's that, 1.6? So that's not too bad. I'm, I'm happy with that. I was zoned out when you were talking too, so it's okay. Anyway, if you need help with your ketogenic journey, my contact information is below. I'll help anybody get their macros. If I'm a little slow, y'all bear with me because sometimes I get a lot of emails and sometimes only a few. Um, Ketodiamond.com for more information, free foods list. There are links in the description below that allow you to support the channel. There are also my mailing address down there, so if you want to send a card or a letter or anything, feel free to. And uh, links in the description below to help you get Shashka bracelets for 50% off. I love them anyway, and they're not expensive. So, oh, Keto Mojo, 15% off and a lot of other junk. Check it out. Much love, many prayers. Bye! Bye.